Hello children. We are discussing the chapter 11 of your book that is motion and measurement of distances. What is motion? When an object is said to be changing its distance, its place with respect to a reference point, with respect to a stationary object, then that object is said to be in motion. अगर कोई एक ऑब्जेक्ट बचे किसी एक रेफरेंस पॉइंट किसी एक स्टेशनरी पॉइंट के कंपैरिजन में उसके रिस्पेक्ट में अपनी पोजीशन चेंज कर रहा है दैट इज नोन एज मोशन इन दैट चैप्टर इन द फर्स्ट वीडियो व्हाट वी हैव डिस्कस इज फर्स्ट वी विल डिस्कस द स्टोरी ऑफ ट्रांसपोर्ट व्हाट इज ट्रांसपोर्ट टू चेंज द प्लेस फ्रॉम वन टू अनदर इज नोन एज ट्रांसपोर्ट इन अर्लीयर टाइम्स द पीपल used to or the human beings used to move on their feet they used to travel on their feet much they carry the luggages on their backs and then move on their feet and that's how they you know travel the distances that's how they transport from one place to another next then much the human beings domesticate the animals the domestication of animals makes the transportation easier for the human beings as human beings use the horses to travel the domesticated animal like horses to travel the donkeys are used to travel which then the discovery of wheel occurred by the discovery of wheel the people used to make the carts the bullock carts or the horse carts those carts helped the human beings to travel from one place to another then by the discovery of steam engine the mode of transport changes completely we will discover the motor boats which travel on the water which is we will discover the automobile industries due to which we can travel very faster so those industries are depend on a type of steam engine nowadays the petrol and diesel operated engines are there as well as there are certain spaceships which works on liquid nitrogen by those spaceships we can travel into the outer space so this is what the story of transport is then we discussed measurement what is measurement measurement is the process of comparing a unit comparing a quantity which is unknown to us to be measured with the fixed or the standard unit of measurement to be measured with the standard unit of a uh, measurement or you can say the standard unit to measure a physical quantity jab bachcho hum ek unknown quantity ko compare karte hain ek standard unit se that is known as measurement usse hum kya bolte hain measurement next physical quantity what is a physical quantity physical quantity hai kya bachcho जब बच्चों हम कोई भी वेजिटेबल या फ्रूट बाय कर रहे हैं वी आर गोइंग टू अ शॉप और वेंडर कम्स टू आर हाउस एंड वी परचेज अ फ्रूट और वेजिटेबल देन अ फिजिकल क्वांटिटी इज मेयर्ड बाय दैट वेंडर एंड दैट फिजिकल क्वांटिटी इज मास इफ वी आर स्टैंडिंग ऑन अ रेलवे स्टेशन ऑन अ बस स्टॉप एंड वेटिंग फॉर अ बस टू कम देन वी आर मेयरिंग अर वी आर यू नो डिस्कसिंग अ क्वांटिटी फिजिकल क्वांटिटी दैट इज टाइम so any quantity which can be measured is known as a physical quantity as if koi bhi quantity jise hum measure kar sakte hain that quantity is known as a physical quantity the example of the physical quantity is mass distance or length time and volume area sir well. these are the physical quantities the quantities which we can measure easily are known as physical quantities next to measure the physical quantities we require certain units which in earlier times we use rough or inaccurate units which we use approximate units which vary from one person to another like body parts in earlier times the units of measurement was hand span this is the hand span the length from this thumb tip of this thumb to the tip of this finger which this is one hand span next one is cubit the arm length is cubit then pace one step is referred as a pace bachche foot the length of a foot one foot of a person is foot next fathom the outstretched arms is known as one fathom the tip of this hand 
to the tip of this hand in stretched condition that is known as one fathom. So one fathom is you know, generally equals to in the case of normal human adult is six feet. But that varies from one person to person. Bache. That is what the limitation of those earlier units is. Those earlier units are not accurate and reliable. Why? Because the length of the body parts varies from one person to another. Her person ka fathom same nahi hai. Her person ka hand span same nahi hai. Her person ke foot ki length same nahi hai. Some have five size, some have six, some have seven, and some have ten. So that foot size is varies from one person to person. That means the measurement will also vary from person to person. So to make that stabilized, to make that constant, to make that fixed and regular, we discover certain standard international units. The standard units of measurement. The units of measurement which are fixed and does not vary from a person to person or a place to place are known as standard units of measurement. The units which will remain fixed for every person, for every place are known as standard units of measurement. There is a, you know, laboratory in our country that is National Physical Laboratory which is situated in New Delhi that has kept that standard unit, that has kept that standard one kilogram mass, that also have that standard one meter length they also have a standard unit of time that is for one second. In the comparison of those standard units, we always measure these physical quantities. And in their comparison, we measure these physical quantities in our daily life. Next, that is standard international units. They are given that name that is standard international unit, SI unit, on the basis of a French name. These units were discovered in 1960 and every physical quantity has its own standard international or SI unit. Why we require those? Why scientists or researchers require those? What is the advantage of these units? What is the advantage of having SI units? We require SI units or standard international units for the sake of uniformity and accuracy in the physical quantities measurement. These units will remain same for every country, same for every place. Bache. That means there is uniformity in the measurement. Uniform rahega bache measurement. Sab jana ek jaisa rahega. Ek length sab jana change nahi ho. So for that accuracy and for that you know, uniformity, for that convenience in measurement we require standard international units. The standard international unit for the length or distance is meter. The standard international unit for mass is kilogram. The standard international unit of time is seconds. And the standard international unit for volume is meter cube or you can say cubic meter. Now we will discuss measurement of length. What is length which is? Length is the distance between the two points which we want to measure. For example, which is, if suppose that is a point A and that is the point B, we want to measure the length between this, then this distance between A and B is known as the length of AB. If we want A and B ke beech ki length of A and B, that means between these two points, which what we have to measure is distance we have to measure. And that distance is known as length of AB. We use various devices, various measurement tools to measure the length or you can say measurement of distance. To measure the length, we can use a ruler or a scale. We can use a measuring tape or a meter road. This is a measuring scale, bache. You all must have it, bache. This scale has a reading at the left, it has written as 0, and on the right, it, it has written 30. So this scale can measure up to 
30 centimeters of length. So that is the scale or ruler which we use to measure a distance that is within 30 centimeter more accurately. Next, bachi. the second one is measuring tape. That is a measuring tape. As you can see here, below this you know label, zero is written and then the number are increasing. Zero, one, two, three, four, five and so on. So this is measuring tape. If I want to measure the size of you know this circle, then I use measuring tape. Because it is flexible with shape. And if I want to measure this length, then I want a more hard thing, and that is a meter road. Because that is not flexible. Meter road is a meter a length, or you can say a you know length of wooden or a glass material, a plastic material, which will remain stable, which is inflexible, which is unbending. That is meter road. But this is measuring tape which is easily flexible, which can be bent easily. So if I want to measure the diameter of a ball, then I use this because this can easily wrap around the ball. The next one, I'll show you a measuring tape, but that measuring tape is a hard one. So this material is not so much a flexible nature. By this measuring tape, I can easily measure the length of this board. So I place this at the top. And then till here, I can measure. So, this is the measurement of this board. Bachi. It is approximately 120 centimeters in length. Bachi. So, that's how you can measure by the help of measuring tapes. Bachi. This, these are the readings written over it. Bachi. Below this, you know, mark there is a zero, then it is one, two, three, and four, and so on. Bachi. It keeps on increases. And this is the measuring tape which is used to measure the length between the two points. The SI unit of length is, as we have discussed, which is meter, represented by a small m. But sometimes it is not very convenient to measure the small lengths in meter. So, for small lengths, we use centimeters and one meter is equals to hundred centimeters. One meter make it centimeter hota hai, bacho? hundred centimeters hota hai. So if we want to convert the meter into centimeter. Then what we have to do? We have to multiply the unit with 100. For example, if someone asks you how many centimeters are there in 2 meters, then we have to multiply it with 100 centimeters. So it will be equals to 200 centimeters. If someone asks us how many meters are there, sorry, how many centimeters are there in 45, 4.5 meters, then what we have to do? We have to multiply this meter with 100 centimeter and we'll get 450 centimeters. So that many centimeters are present in 4.5 meters. So if we want to convert the larger unit into the smaller one, we have to multiply it, multiply it. And if we want to convert the smaller unit into the larger one, then we have to divide it. For example, if someone asks you how many meters are there in 120 centimeters, then what we have to do? We have to divide it with the 100. That will be equals to 1.2 meter. So if you want to divide meter in centimeter, then you will divide it with 100. And if you want to centimeter in centimeters, then you will multiply it with For more smaller units, We have millimeters mm. One centimeter is equals to ten millimeter. That means one meter is equals to thousand millimeter. 
देखो बच्चों एक सेंटीमीटर में दस मिलीमीटर होते हैं और एक मीटर में हंड्रेड तो सेंटीमीटर हो गए तो मिलीमीटर कितने हो गए हंड्रेड मल्टीप्लाई टेन दैट इज थाउजेंड मिलीमीटर फॉर लार्जर डिस्टेंसेस और लॉन्ग डिस्टेंसेस वी यूज किलोमीटर्स एंड वन किलोमीटर इज इक्वल टू थाउजेंड मीटर If we want to go to the space, or if the scientists or researchers or astronauts are going to the moon, then they measure the distance in light years. The very or extremely large distances are measured in light years. One light year is equals to nine point four six into ten raised to the power fifteen meter. So you can write it, but yes. Nine four six and then twelve zeros are there. That much meters are there. So this is the length that is light years. Now we'll discuss certain rules to write the symbols of the units. Which the first rule is the unit symbols are always. Write without the full stop. For example, if you want to write the meters symbol, it is never written as that much. Full stop is never followed up after the unit. It is written as this. Kg is written as the, this much. Not like this. so there are no full stops in between the units or followed up the unit the units or the symbol of the units are always written without the full stop second symbols of the units are not written in plural for example if we want to write the 100 cm then it is incorrect the correct representation of 100 cm is this Without full stop. Next, my Ma mass is seventy-eight kilograms, so it is not written as this. This is incorrect. Seventy-eight kilograms is written as seven a. Without the use of full stop, as well as without the use of s or es, that is the plural form. So symbols of the units are written without full stop. and they are always written in the small letters without having their plural unit the third and the last one is they are always written in the form of small letters for example meter is written as small m not capital m second is written as small s not capital s so the symbol for the units are always written without full stop they are always written in the small letters and they never written as in their plural forms now we'll discuss some questions bache of unit conversion the first one is radha's house is 6540 km from her friend's house radha ek ladki hai bachcha uska ghar 6540 m dur hai apni friend ke ghar se then the question is asked calculate the distance in kilometers and centimeters first we'll do which in kilometers what is given to us the distance and that distance is given to us in meters as the symbol is never written in the plural form and always written as a small alphabet next we know that bachche 1 km is equals to 1000 meters that means the larger unit is kilometer and the smaller unit is meter 1 km mein 1000 meter hai bachche iska matlab kilometer badi unit hai aur meter choti unit and if we want to convert the larger unit into sorry the smaller unit into the larger one then we have to divide it 
so the distance in kilometers will be 6540 divided by 1000 that is equals to 6.54 kilometer so that's how we convert the distance given in meters into kilometers by dividing the meters to 1000 we get the unit in kilometers next in centimeters the given distance is same much 6540 meters and we know that 1 meter is equals to 100 centimeters no full stops that means the meter is here the larger unit next distance in centimeters 6540 meter multiply 100 centimeters so that will be equals to 654 triple zero centimeter without the full stop units are always written without full stop do remember this this is the rule to write the units so the incorrect units are now corrected so but say for unit conversion of meter into kilometer that is smaller unit into the larger unit we are dividing it by thousand and if we are converting the larger unit that is meter into the centimeters then we are multiplying it with hundred centimeters so that's how we convert the unit meter into kilometer by dividing it and meter into centimeter by multiplying it second question which Rahul has a rope which is 2 meter long Uske paas ek rasi hai vachche jo 2 meter lambi hai Express the length in centimeters Same vachche The given distance is Is in meters And how much meter is given? 2 meter We know that 1 meter is equals to 100 centimeter so the distance or the length of rope in centimeter will be equals to 2 meter multiply 100 centimeter that will be equals to 200 centimeter if it says also convert it into millimeters then multiply it either with 10 or directly multiply 2 with 1000 as 1 meter has 1000 millimeter so multiply it with 1000 at 1 centimeter has 10 millimeter so multiply this with 10 we get millimeters so that's how unit conversion is done